Basic Appraisal Principles, page 205, chapter 9, Conveying Ownership. Page 206. Now that you have an understanding about the different forms of property ownership, it is time to learn how ownership of property can be transferred. Bill of Sale, Title or Deed. When personal property is sold, a bill of sale is used. This is significant to an appraiser because if certain personal property is included in a sale of real estate, a bill of sale may be used to transfer the personal property. Each bill of sale contains an accurate inventory of the personal property items included in the sale generally these personal items are not included in the valuation of the property for example the jacobs sell their house to the aldriches along with the sale of the real estate the jacobs also sell to the aldriches their living room furniture a separate bill of sale will be used for the furniture. Those items listed on the bill of sale will be excluded from the valuation of the property. Definitions. Deed. A deed is a written legal instrument whereby the grantor conveys to a grantee a right, title, or interest in real property. Title. A title is a legal document establishing ownership of a property. Grantor. A grantor is an owner that has the legal authority to transfer ownership. Grantee. A grantee is the person acquiring title or who is granted the property rights. Conveying ownership. Before property can be conveyed to another, the owner, grantor, must provide evidence of ownership. This is done through a title. The title is a legal document that establishes ownership of the property and generally refers to the complete bundle of rights. The conveyance or transfer of real estate is carried out with a legal instrument called a deed. A deed is a document used by an owner of real estate, the grantor, to transfer all or part of an interest in the property to another party, the grantee. The act of conveying real estate ownership by deed is called a grant. The title and deed work together to grant the transfer of ownership. Extra notes. Bill of sale. You will see a lot in um, some, oh, in the county clerk's office. Page 207. Voluntary slash involuntary transfer of title. Property can be transferred voluntarily or involuntarily. Examples include the following voluntary transfer transfer through such things as a gift loan trade or sale involuntary transfer transfer through operation of law such as tax sales foreclosure or mechanics liens essential elements of a deed Appraisers need to familiarize themselves with the deed to a property like they would a purchase agreement or any other legal document relating to the property. 
The deed reveals specific information about a property that is essential to the appraisal process. See Table 9, Period 1. To be valid, a deed must meet specific requirements and contain certain elements. A valid deed must do the following. Identify the grantor slash grantee. Grantor must be legally competent. Contain words of conveyance. Include a legal description of the property. State that consideration was given. Be properly executed by the grantor and be delivered to and accepted by the grantee. Identify the grantor slash grantee. To be valid, every deed must have an identifiable grantor and grantee. The grantor is the person who conveys or transfers the property. The grantee is the person who newly acquires the property. If a mistake is made in the spelling of a party's name, or if it is spelled differently in different parts of the deed, that will not invalidate the deed as long as it is clear who the party is. For example, in the body of the deed, the name of the grantor is typed as Pierce, P-E-A-R-S-E, -E. but the signature at the bottom of the deed is spelled Pierce, P-E-A-R-C-E. -E. The deed is valid in spite of the misspelling. The grantee or grantor may be a corporation or other legal entity such as partnership or trust. The entities are adequate parties if they legally exist. In other words, they must meet the requirements for incorporation or be licensed or have the proper cert certificates on file so that they can be recognized as a legal entity. Grantor must be legally competent. In addition to being identifiable, the grantor must also be competent, that is, of legal age and sound mind. If the grantor is incompetent, the deed is voidable. To cancel a deed for lack of mental capacity, there must be clear and convincing evidence of the grantor's incompetence. Extra notes. I decide I want to sell, and it points to voluntary. And then foreclosed on, and that points to involuntary. In New Mexico, the grantee needs to also be competent, and that points to com legally competent. It has to say consideration given, and that is pointing to the description of the property. Nowhere does it need to be notarized. Most of the of the something our share have in New Mexico is grant and that's pointing to contain words of conveyance grantor and grantee have to be real people 